for a wish, pennies and dimes for a kiss. Good morning, what's center around Kelly? And, I'm and we have your morning announcements. Again today we'll be making the usual announcements, but we'll pause to hear from our student council candidates. So listen up because you'll be voting on these candidates this week. Due to long lines and the interruption of sales with GEE testing, prom ticket sales have been extended to include today. This is the final day, so hurry by Ms. Knox's room at lunch to get your prom ticket. If you signed up to take a dual enrollment class, don't forget your meeting tonight at 6 in the auditorium. It is very important that a parent or guardian attend this meeting, so see you tonight at 6 in the auditorium. The Ultimate Frisbee Club will be selling designer frisbees this year. There will be no t-shirts, so make sure to order one so you have something to remind you of all the fun that y'all had this year. The price will be $13, and the frisbees will be handed out at our next meeting, May 12th. Come by Ms. Kristen Nelson's room, 3207, and sign up on the sheet on the door. You must pay by May 4th, or they will not be ordered. Student council elections will be held Thursday in the new gym lobby. This year they will be voting on real voting machines provided by the Secretary of State's office. You must show a picture ID to vote. Either a school ID or a driver's license will do. If you have a social studies class, first or fifth period, you'll be voting during that class period. If you do not have a social studies class at all or it is during sixth or seventh period, you will need to make arrangements with one of your first or fifth period teachers to vote during that class or go during your lunch period to vote. Seniors will not be voting, but if you will be 18 before November and have not registered to vote for fall elections, you may register on this day. Registrations will also be in the new gym lobby. With that being said, let's stop for a minute to hear from our candidates for next year's senior offices. For President, Cab Bradley, Sari Freeman, and Mary Allison Mitchell. Good morning. I'm Cab Bradley, and I'm running for senior class president. I'm not only going to ask for your vote, but also tell you why I'm prepared to lead our senior class. Our class is outstanding in so many ways. Through our tradition of athletic excellence, our outstanding academic scores, our state and nationally recognized band and choir, talented spirit groups, and the community service our clubs provide. One of the reasons our class excels is the way we work hard and prepare. I've been preparing since my freshman year to serve as your senior class president. I've represented the freshman, sophomore, and junior class not only here at West Monroe High School, but also I've represented our school at three Louisiana State Student Council conventions where leadership training and skills were strongly emphasized. Through my service in student council and these leadership seminars, I am prepared to serve our class. In Romans 12, we are taught to put others first. As your president, I will put you first. I will often have a voice in decision making that will affect our class. I promise to honor you in all the decisions that are made. It's often been said our class is outstanding. You have made it that way. To represent you would be an honor. I am prepared and ready to serve and ask for your vote Thursday to select me, Cab Bradley, senior class president. Good morning, West Monroe. I'm Sari Freeman, and I would really appreciate your vote for senior class president. Although the number 13 is often associated with bad luck, I believe the class of 2013 must be the luckiest. These last three years have been filled with many unforgettable memories. To name a few, we were the first class to be in the Freshman Academy, we have made three trips to the Superdome, and we were the final class to take the GEE. As we enter our senior year, I would really like to lead our class as we make our mark on West Monroe High School. As you are considering who you would like to vote for your senior class president, I would like for you to keep these qualities in mind. S, service. I will serve my class to the best of my ability. A, accountability. I will always be available for suggestions and questions concerning our class. R, respect. I will always strive to be someone that you can respect. I, I love WMHS. I love my school, my class, and everyone involved in making our school so great. If you didn't catch it the first time, S, service. A, accountability. R, respect, and I, I love WMHS. That's an acronym for SARI. I would really be honored if you would vote for me as your senior class president. Thank you. What up, West Monroe? I'm Mary Allison Mitchell, and I'm one of three running for senior class president. And I have about in a minute and a half to tell you why you should choose me to represent the class of 2013. I personally want this responsibility and the challenges that come with it. Unlike other candidates, I don't just want the title of class president or the privilege of speaking at graduation, but instead I want to make our senior year the best possible. The only way to make this possible is by action, and I guarantee you action. You can trust in my ability to get things done. I saw that our student section needed to be changed, so I talked to Ms. May and I got things done. 
I prove my capability to take action when I see things that need to be changed. During the course of our fourth and final year of high school, I want us to do things as a class to leave our mark on West Monroe High School. By choosing me, you choose a leader who wants us to make a time capsule so future classes can remember the mark that we made, to do a senior service project, have a senior charity dance, and expand our senior's front row role in the student section, not only in football, but spreading to all sports in 2013. Peter Drucker once said, Effective leadership is not about making speeches or being well-liked. Leadership is defined by action, not attributes. And in the past year and our year to come, I think I'm the only candidate who has and will show action. I've been a member of student council for three years and I'm ready to see a change in the way the class president operates. So elect me and you elect action. Choose the candidate who will lead you into the best senior year you could imagine. Because not only do you only live once, but you're only seniors once. So rock the vote. Welcome back and we have a few more announcements. Our annual Johnny's Pizza Pig Out is set for April 24th from 5 to 9 on Warren Drive. Make plans now to come out and enjoy some pizza and support the school at the same time. The Pharmacy Tech meeting has been rescheduled for April 24th at 6.30 p.m. The meeting will take place in the library. Any junior that is interested and met the requirements may attend. Please bring a parent or guardian. Teachers, don't forget about the Key Club's pancake offer. An order form and more information were placed in your boxes, and if you are ordering, get those to Miss Jones by April 25th. Scholarship news from Guidance. The Ben Caldwell Memorial Scholarship is now available in Guidance and online. Applications are due by April 25th. For more information, go to Guidance. The Northeast Louisiana Rice Growers Association is sponsoring a $750 scholarship for seniors with a 2.5 GPA planning to attend a college or university in Louisiana. Apps are available in Guidance and are due April 27th. Senior athletes have several scholarship opportunities available through the LHSAA. Visit the LHSAA website or guidance for more information and the applications are due May 1st. And in other news um, from guidance students, remember that if you talked to your counselor about going to the basic score curriculum, basic core curriculum, parent conferences are this week. Have your parent call your counselor and set up an appointment today. Anyone interested in trying out for the tennis team needs to see Ms. Roark about a summer clinic. And the boys' soccer tryouts will be held tomorrow through Thursday from 3.30 to 5 at Bowley Field next to Bowley Elementary on Cypress Street. You must be with Coach Barron if you plan to try out. Any senior wanting to purchase a senior t-shirt may do so starting today. The last day to purchase a shirt is next Thursday at noon. Pictures of the shirt are placed outside of Ms. Hunt's and Ms. Barron's rooms if you want to check them out. The cost is $10 and only cash will be taken. You may place your order with Ms. Hunt or Ms. Barron. Now let's take some time to hear from some more candidates for next year's senior class student council offices. For Vice President Hannah Brazier and Kelsey Kuhn and for Student Body President Hamilton Winters. Good morning. My name is Hannah Brazier, and I would like to take this opportunity to ask you for your vote for Senior Vice President for the 2012-2013 school year. If I'm elected, I will make it my top priority to represent each senior and work with the other elected officers as one team. Please know that I am here for each and every one of you in the senior class of 2013 and will listen to your concerns and ideas so that we can make the necessary changes for us in our high school to be an even better school environment. Since the first day of freshman year, our class has proven to be the best class Western Ohio High School has ever seen. I'm ready to lead us through the best year yet. With a good attitude, respect towards others, and an open mind, I will do my best to serve my class as vice president. Please vote for me, Hannah Brazier, on Thursday, April 19th, as your next vice president in 2012-2013 school year. Your vote would be greatly appreciated. I know for a fact we can make the class of 2013 unforgettable. Good morning, I'm Kelsey Kuhn and I would like to serve as Vice President of the Student Council representing the senior class. I have served on Student Council the last two years and I was a junior class Vice President this past year. I love representing my fellow students as I serve our school. I always promote West Monroe High School as an asset to our community while performing service activities throughout the Twin Cities. I would like to see West Monroe High School Student Council more involved in school activities helping the teachers and administration. I will be glad to listen to any classmate and voice their opinion to the Student Council. I hope this will help improve communication between teachers and students. I'm very dependable and trustworthy and I will use these characteristics to serve students throughout Student Council. 
Please vote for me, Kelsey Coon, Senior Class Vice President. Good morning, West Monroe. My name is Hamilton Winters, and if you're a student of the class of 2013, I've served as your class president for the last two years. This week, we will vote on next year's student council officers, and let me assure you, you have a good field of leaders to choose from. I've been blessed enough to not have an opponent for this year's race, meaning that I will serve as your student body president for the 2012-2013 school year. Over the last three years, we've made great progress in student council with our community service, charity contributions, and the impact that we've made in our community and state. This year, we hope to take from the successes of our past to be able to form a plan for the success of our future. This year, the torch of success has been passed to us. We will work together, students and faculty, by taking your suggestions and trying to implement them in our leadership of the school. Together, we will not only make progress that we will always remember, but progress that classes that come far behind us will remember also. We are so blessed to be here at West Monroe High School, and I thank you for putting your trust in me to be your student body president. Together next May, we will be proud to leave West Monroe High School better than we found it. Thank you. Thank you to all those candidates who prepared those speeches, and students, don't forget to vote Thursday. One last announcement, the Lady Rebels will host their first playoff game today at 4 p.m. against HL Bourgeois. Admission is $5, and since it is a playoff game, an athletic pass cannot be used, guys, so please come out and support these ladies. That's all we have, West Monroe. Have a great day. Bye.